to tackle the transmission. Um, it looks like the transmission pan's been leaking. Whoever serviced it last put some gasket maker on there. Um, I think just because of the how hot it gets in the garage and stuff, it's been swelling and shrinking and stuff like that. So it started to leak. As you can see, we've been taking care of it as much as possible, but it's getting to be a pain in the butt and I'm getting pretty close to being able to drive this thing around. So um, we're gonna get that fixed. We're gonna, and then while we're in there dropping the pan, we're gonna go ahead and change the fluid and we're gonna put a new transmission filter in there. I'm sure it needs it. Even if it doesn't, I mean, it's still good maintenance. So we're gonna tackle that, get started. All right, this is my first time doing this. Not even sure what the hell I'm doing to be honest. Uh, but my plan is we're gonna get as uh, many as the bolts evenly off as possible. And then we're gonna leave like this one and then the same one parallel over here. And then we can tilt the pan without warping it. Uh, and then be able to drain this stuff easily. This is gonna be messy, but it's we gotta do what we gotta do. So we'll start removing those and then I'll catch back up with you.
not gonna lie, I already did practice on the other side. I know I'm not perfect. I probably make mistakes. You probably yell at me. But uh, I got it looking pretty good, so we're gonna do the same to this side. I'm gonna show you what works for me. It's probably not the best, but uh, makes it look a lot better. So let's get started. So what I found out when I first started it is I was using too much compound. So not only that, but I wasn't evenly distributing it. So what I found for me is I get it on the pad, kind of like that, and then I rub it in. Yeah, it's messy, but who cares? Um, get it rubbed in real evenly. That'll help with uh, keeping it from spraying everywhere like it did when I first started. And then what I do is, is I take a rag, put a, a good size little lump on there, go to the area, and kind of rub, do like a little pre-rub in. You always gotta get the pre-rubs in. You know what I'm saying? All right. Man, I, I don't know what speed to use. All right, take it easy. So I just use uh, low speed. So you can definitely tell the difference there so and that's just the first stage as I understand it um, after this you go over it with another compound and then finish it up with a polishing and a wax and uh, I was thinking I was, I was gonna need a paint job but I think we're gonna roll with this for a while save up a little money and then we can fix all these rust spots and paint it whatever color I want and then yeah all right let's finish the rest rubbing compound. Put some of that on there. Once again, I'm a heathen. I'm just gonna go on around because I, I have a feeling this stuff will work uh, the best. Even if it doesn't, we can run back through with the... Who am I kidding? I just put too much on my hands, so... gentlemen we're getting there we're getting there all right guys next on the list is the horror so I have this problem where so when I press be quiet and listen so the relay is working but not the horn so we're gonna figure out where the horn is and replace it all right so we came around to the other side took the glove box out get that out there's a little stopper 
on this side on the glove box and then I would just pop this little clip out and then it just falls right out. But here's the relay right here with the blue and yellow wires. And if you listen, when I hit the horn, you should hear it click. So that means the relay is good and most likely the horn's bad. So I went ahead and bought a new horn. And I traced the wires and the wires come in down there and then the horn, you probably won't be able to see it. Let me get under. The horn is right there and it looks to be pretty old. There's actually two, but I'm just gonna replace one. So first thing first, let's get the battery connector off. Shockers though, be fun for you guys, but not for me. Get the horn out of the packaging and get it all ready. Comes with new connectors and a mounting plate. So should be a universal horn, but uh, I got the low tone just so it sounds better than the high pitch. But so to start, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that bolt off so I can get this uh, this horn out, and then we'll uh, go from there. That snug. Here's a moment of truth. Nice. As you can see, it's a pretty dirty job.